Here at the Lake Isabella Fishing Derby, the atmosphere is laid back. But when you feel that tug, you might reel in something valuable. In Lake Isabella, I'm Corey O'Leary, your neighborhood reporter. It's calming, it's not a whole lot of stress, and it's low risk high reward. You just come out here, have fun, and maybe you'll catch something. That's local Ethan Sagan, who participated in this year's derby, and he's not alone. I'm with my mother, my mom. I want to say we probably have done the derby five or six times, maybe seven. They're not the only family members who have traditions of attending the derby together. All around the lake, families play games, cook food, and try to catch some trout. I caught it with my bare hands. <laughs> Actually? For real. Really? Yeah. No. How'd you do that? No? <laughs> yes, I did. Take a picture of it and send it in. <laughs> People both fish on the shore or go out in a boat and troll. First off, it's really fun uh, and it's exciting, but it's also really good for the community. If they catch a trout that is tagged, they can take it into Derby headquarters and pick up the reward. A $5,000 tag fish being brought in on Saturday. <laughs> and it's still going. Derby starts at 7 a.m. Saturday morning. Derby ends at 5 p.m. Monday night. That's Fred Clark, president of the Kern River Valley Chamber of Commerce, the organization that puts on the Derby. This is a family event. Remember that. We're all here to enjoy the weather, enjoy the scenery. For over 20 years, it's brought people together. Exciting because you don't know if you're going to get a, a tagged fish or a non-tagged fish, and you might end up winning $10,000 or 25 bucks. Organizers told me that this year's fishing derby had the highest turnout since 2018. In Lake Isabella, I'm Corey O'Leary, your neighborhood reporter.